What is going on everybody? In today's video, I'm going to show you some different properties that are currently on the market right now in the Central Coast at various price points. Now, this YouTube channel is bringing in a lot of people from out of the area that aren't familiar with the Central Coast. So the purpose of this video is going to show you, it's going to be to show you what you can expect at various price points when moving here to the Central Coast. We're going to be using a system I have in place through my brokerage that allows you to do custom searches so you can set criteria. Say you want two bedrooms in a Royal Grande and you want it between 600 and 800,000. You're able to set that criteria and as these new listings come on the market, it emails you those listings first thing in the morning so that you make sure to see them before anybody else, which is very important in this market when things are moving quickly, homes are selling very quick. So if you are interested in getting signed up for those alerts, I will put the link in the description. But now we're gonna go over to the computer screen so that you can check out my screen as well. Excuse my drink. I was in the sun for three hours today out door knocking, so I'm a little parched. Um, and if you guys don't know me, my name is Christian T. Sem with Hubble Real Estate. And again, I help families here on the Central Coast buy and sell real estate. So let's go over to the computer screen and I will show you what I am seeing here as well. So real quick, let me just show you this system. Let me close my Gmail out. You'll see I've got San Luis Obispo, Avila Beach, Pismo, Oceano, Grover, Napomo, Arroyo Grande, and Santa Maria. Again, San Luis Obispo all the way to Santa Maria we're covering in this video. I've got no criteria set up for beds and baths, but you can see price range, criteria here. You can see property types. So we're going to do houses, condos, townhouses, active only. And then you can see some amenities that you can search as well. You, so you can look at all these different amenities to see you know, if there's specifics that you want uh, in your criteria or things you don't want to have. So let's look between 300 and 400,000, there are only six properties found. So let's just show you a few of those right now. First in San Luis Obispo listed at 326, 900. We've got a one bedroom, one bath, 700 square foot property. So nice uh, development here. You've got a pool, small kitchen, fairly updated, pretty new. It looks like it's a split level design, little one bedroom property. Not bad, 326, 900, San Luis Obispo. That seems very low price to me, which is interesting because it's been on the market for five months. Let's see, I bet the HOAs are really high. Huh, the HOAs are low, 260. So I don't know what the deal is with this property. Something's going on uh, because that's a good price in San Luis Obispo. Next, uh, Napomo. 329, two bed, two bath, 822 square foot condo. Not many pictures here. This is right next to the freeway, not my favorite location, but 329,900 in Napomo. There's not a lot of condos in Napomo. This one is in Oceano. Now we recently sold one in this development here for 320 back in June. So this one's way overpriced. It's listed at 375. It's a two bed, two bath, 885 square feet. It's got a pretty low HOA, 290, uh, but this is really overpriced. This is probably gonna sell for 335, 340 at the most because it's outdated. The one we did uh, recently, Albert and I, uh, was updated throughout, much nicer, I would say, than this. You can see it's got the original cabinets. Um, yeah, not, not the nicest inside, but this is a good area. It's right off Highway 1. Uh, it's a nice place to live. I actually lived in this development when I was 18, 19 years old and uh, we just sold the one that was directly next door to the one I lived at. Elm Street, Oceano, 399.9, two bed, two bath, 1,000, 2,200 square feet. Nice development over here. South Elm Street is very nice. And you can see kind of what you can get over there for 399.9. And again, guys, if you are curious to see any more of this, I'll put the link in my description so you can search this yourself. Um, let's kind of speed this up a little bit because I don't want to be here all night showing you all these listings. So 21 properties found between 400 and 550. So we're starting to bump it up a little bit. And I have it sorted here, low to high. So now we're starting to see um, a, a little bit more. Again, let's look at a San Luis Obispo property. Maybe I won't scroll through all the pictures just to keep it moving. Two bed, two bath, 958 square feet, 420,000. Looks like it's in the same development. 
been on the market for 18 days. Santa Maria College Drive, 430,000, three bed, two bath, 1,080 square feet. Pretty small house for a three bedroom, if you ask me. Outside, looks like they've done some work on the inside, not fully up to date like 2020, but it looks like they've done a remodel within the last 10 years or so. Concrete outside, low maintenance, nice bathroom. Again, 430 in Santa Maria for a three bedroom house. Uh, Lily Lane, Santa Maria, 505. Three bed, three bath, 1,500 square feet on a 2,100 square foot lot, almost 2,200 square feet. Nice little two story, small yard, low maintenance, but very nice inside. So this is pretty typical for Santa Maria now, especially there's a lot of newer developments. Low 500s can get you something like this. Okay. Let me click out of here. Let's show you a Grover Beach property. Uh, not much to see. 187 South 3rd Street in Grover Beach. Small kitchen, tiny kitchen, one bed, one bath, 608, listed at 535. It's been on the market for three months, so definitely overpriced for what you're getting. Let's edit this search again. We will do 550. Let's actually skip. Let's do 650 to 800. So I won't show you everything just to keep the video, you know, relatively short. I don't like to make long videos. A lot of people say you should make really long videos because you get longer watch time more engagement with YouTube. YouTube algorithms like it more, but we don't need to do that. If you want to search this, you can come here and do it yourself. Now, this is a cool property. This is out on Wildflower Road. If you take 166, you go out about 15 minutes, you hit Sway Creek Road, you go another 15 minutes towards Napomo and AG. And this is basically directly behind like Clam Hill and Napomo. And if you don't know what that is, I don't know if that's an official name. I think that's a kind of a slang term in Napomo, but Clam Hill, if you're driving, it looks like a clam. It's kind of shaped like a clam. If you're at Napomo High School and you look straight towards the mountains, you'll see it. 8515 Wildflower Road. So this is a three bed, two bath, 2680 square foot. It's on 10 acres and it has a really big shop as well. So it's a manufactured home. It's on a slab, but it doesn't have a, I think it's on a slab. It doesn't have a 433 certificate, which means it has to get loaned on as a manufactured home. If you get a 433 cert, then it is on a permanent foundation and it opens up the loan options a lot. Uh, but this does not have that, so your loan options are gonna be limited. Excuse me while I take a drink. Again, I've been in the sun for three hours today, knocking on doors, so. Scrolling through, you see it's nice. Nice property, again, 10 acres, way out in the middle of nowhere, so if that's what you're into. This is a good property for that. Uh, let's see. San Luis Obispo, 1,389 square feet, two bed, three bath, 1987. Nice, bright, looks like a condo here in San Luis Obispo. Maybe a townhouse. Uh, Santa Maria, looking up at the 665. Big house, Santa Maria, tall ceilings. Four bedroom, three bath, 2377 square feet for 665 here in Santa Maria. Uh, let's see. Grover Beach, Grover Beach. I wanna find you some Grover Beach. Let's look at this, uh, San Luis Obispo. Two bed, two bath. 1,230 square feet, 735. So San Luis Obispo is going to be one of the more expensive areas here on the Central Coast. You can see you get a lot less for the same money. Older house, small, needs some work, tiny kitchen. Probably needs some updating. Whoever's gonna get this will probably be doing some updating to it. But 735, two bed, two bath, San Luis Obispo. This is a nice property, Traffic Way in uh, Arroyo Grande. 
Nice kitchen. Been updated recently. Nice potential view, nice big backyard. Three bed, two bath, 1,456 square feet on a 6,300 square foot lot, 749. Good property in Arroyo Grande. This is gonna be a pretty normal property for the Arroyo Grande area. Six more, let's see Grover Beach. 739 in Grover Beach, Ocean View Avenue, way up on the hill, I believe. Let's do a map and see. This is a drone shot, so they're kind of cheating a little bit. I don't think you have those views from this property. Maybe you do. Three bed, two bath, 1,524 square feet, Ocean View Avenue. Yeah, so you are right at the top of the hill. If you're not from around here, Atlantic City is pretty much top of the hill, Parkview Avenue, and oh, this, this is about the top of the hill, but this is right on 4th Street, um, which is busy. 4th Street gets a lot of traffic, a lot of noise. I used to live right down here off 4th Street, but this is a very nice area as well over in Grover Beach. Uh, let's look at one more in San Luis Obispo. 799, three bed, two bath, 1,700 square feet in San Luis Obispo. Pretty nice, a little bit dated, early 2000s. Looks like they haven't done any of the, the work. The outside's nice. It's a lot of rocks to trip over. If you've uh, had a barbecue and you had a few drinks to have, you might stub your toe. Built in 86, so it looks like they probably did one update in the mid to late 90s on this house. All right, next price point. Let's look from 800 to 1 million. 27 listings. Hadley Way, Santa Maria, four bed, three bath, 2,900 square feet on a half an acre for 829,000. Pretty cool property up on a hillside. Pool, I like pools. Not very many pools in this area. I mean, relatively speaking. Interesting view. Needs some work. I don't know, maybe you guys like blue carpet. Blue carpet's not my thing. Not like that at least. Interesting property, four bed, three bath, 2,900 square feet for 829 in Santa Maria. <clears throat> 673 Woodland Drive, 850,000, three bed, two bath, 1,855 square feet. Most likely gonna be outdated a little bit in the kitchen. Which is probably why they're showing it last. Yeah, kitchen looks old. For my countertops, most likely. Kind of blown out in the picture so you can't see. They probably did it on purpose. 850, three bed, two bath, 1,855 square feet in a Royal Grande. Pomo, let's look at a 900,000 in uh, San Luis Obispo. This has been on the market for one month, so it's overpriced, obviously. Four bed, two bath, 1,997 square feet in San Luis Obispo. Real dated. I think there's a body in that bed. That's interesting. I'm pretty sure I saw what is that? That looks like a ski mask. Very professional photographer, gets his arm in the shot. Again, 900,000, four bed, two bath in San Luis Obispo. And guys, I'm gonna show you this real quick. When you scroll down, you can see all this additional information. If there's an HOA, you can see lot descriptions. You know, this is up to the MLS. It pulls all this data from the MLS. So if the agent hasn't entered that in, it's not gonna show up. However, if they have, it will show up. Let's keep looking up closer to the uh, 
million dollar price point, Newport Avenue in Grover Beach. 989, no photos. <clears throat> Las Flores Drive in Napomo, 995, three bed, three bath, 1800 square feet on about an acre and a quarter. Nice looking home, open, updated. Close to a million here in uh, Napomo. All right, so now we're just gonna look at some ridiculous ones because we kind of got the price points covered, right? 800 to a million was that last one. We'll kind of jump, we'll jump, how about that? We will go 1 million to 3 million. 69 properties, that's a lot of properties for sale. Probably a lot of them are gonna be in San Luis Obispo, Pismo, that sort of thing. All right. 690 Balboa Street. I had a friend that used to live on Balboa Street. It's very nice, it's at the top of the hill in Grover Beach. Maybe you have a view at this property, maybe not. Their property did not. Looks like this one, so they do not have a view. This was actually not that one. Nice houses, a little bit older. Some of them are dated. This one has a balcony, so a little bit of a view. Not much though. One million, one hundred thousand, and one hundred and fifty thousand. Three bed, three bath, twenty-two fifty-seven square feet. Been on the market one month as well. This one, Napoma, or excuse me, Santa Maria, 1,250,000, five bed, three bath, nice lot. Now, this property was on the market for a while last year. It did not sell, probably because of the design. All the bedrooms are upstairs, and it's kind of got an older design to it. But this is on Appaloosa Trail, which is in the West Trail Estates. It's a very nice area. Um, to live in in the uh, Santa Maria area. It's on kind of the outskirts of Orchid over by Highway 1. Appaloosa, okay, let's look at another one. We're gonna kind of jump in price a little bit so that this video, again, doesn't just keep on going. San Luis Obispo, three bed, two bath, 2,040 square feet on a 7,000 square foot lot, 1.649 million. It's a cool looking house, huh? More modern. Ooh, beautiful. Cool, right? All right. Keep on going. Sandydale, nice street in Napomo. It's kind of by Monarch Golf Cars, Golf Course. Used to ride quads and bikes over here when I was a kid, and there was no houses at all, it was all just woods and we'd ride in the trails and get into all kinds of trouble, make forts out in the woods and play all day. This is a cool location, it's over in between Black Lake and Cypress Ridge Golf Course. Six bedroom, six bath, 4,600 square feet, 1.6 million on just over an acre. Interesting, Johnson Avenue. San Luis Obispo. This is a hmm. It doesn't say what it is. 1.775 on Johnson. Not many pictures either. Oh, yeah, there are. So updated, beautiful house inside. I'd hope it's beautiful for almost two million dollars, right? Nice house. Wasna, ooh, let's look at this one. So this one is right on the edge of the Mesa. Very nice property, I used to drive past this. Every day on my way to school, right to the left of this house is the big steep hill as you go down the Mesa. So this has crazy views. That steep hill is like right over here to the side. And you can see it right here. That's the steep hill going down the Mesa. Beautiful views. 
Let's see what the inside of the house looks like. I think this one is pending. I want to see the inside. Big windows taking advantage of those views. Of course, that's what you would expect on a property right on the bluff. Beautiful kitchen. 2.116, three bed, four bath, 3,000 square feet on three acres. Been on the market for three months. I believe it's pending now. This is an interesting one, 2.19 million. Now we're just kind of getting into the ridiculous houses, right? Look at this, it's almost like a, <laughs> it's almost like a tree house, right? Kind of crazy. Wow, look at those views. I'm pretty sure this was shot by Eric Stoltz over at Cell House Media, so shout out to him. Best photographer in the game if you're looking for real estate photography or videos of any sort. That's sort of his thing, so good stuff over there. Wow, look at that. That's amazing. What a unique property. Three bed, three bath, 40, almost 4,600 square feet on three and a half acres. That is amazing. Fox and Bluff, 2,300, 98, 50. Four bed, four bath, 35, almost 3,600 square feet. Beautiful. Looks like it's got a big shop. Let's see what the inside looks like. Again, beautiful view. Overlooking right on top of the Mesa. Big windows showing off that view. Nice kitchen. Big windows seeing the view as well. I'm sure the master probably has views out as well. Looks like the master bedroom with big windows, slider going outside. Again, four bed, four bath, about 3,600 square feet. 2.4 million, just a little under 2.4. This property is excellent. So this one I went and saw during an MLS caravan. It is, I'll let you see. The price here four bed five bath 5,900 square feet on about a quarter acre so apparently this man was one of the developers of the golf course this is at Cypress Ridge golf course this is a beautiful house it's got kind of a split design there's a bedroom upstairs up here there's a bedroom down here uh, and then it goes downstairs there's like a wine cellar beautiful craftsman style home here kitchen this is listed by byron grant over at century 21 right over the lake there's an office just an awesome property 2.45 been on the market three months four bed five bath 5900 square feet okay we're getting kind of to the end of them let's look at this one Five bed, six bath, 5,000 square feet, 2.7 million. Infinity pool. Beautiful property over here. All right, you guys wanna do one more? We'll go real crazy. We'll do like infinity on the price. And then I'll let you go. I've been holding you for a long time on this one. So let's do Three million to 10 million, 12 properties. We'll go all the way to the bottom so we see the 10 million prop, 10 million first. <clears throat> Crazy. Fox and Canyon, Los Olivos, 65 acres, 64 and a half acres, 20,000 square feet, eight bed, eight bath. I'm sure it's got multiple houses. This one's been on the market for a while. Look at that backyard, that is insane. A little swimming pool. What a beautiful, unique property. This could be all yours for 
a very meager price of 9.9 million or $42,500 a month for only 42.5 a month. That could be yours. That's wild. <sighs> Morietta Canyon, San Luis Obispo, 5.6 million, three bed, three bath. Taking too long to load. Kind of a craftsman style. Sorry, I'm scrolling fast. I know this video is long. 191 acres. Let's see if there's anything else. Let's look in the Avila Beach one real quick. 3.2 million, right in downtown Avila, three bed, three bath, 1,800 square feet, 32, 3.2 million. Beautiful views. If, again, you're not from around here and you've never been to Avila Beach, this is a excellent area. There's basically one road in, very pretty, very mild weather. It's kind of in like a cove, so it's pretty well protected. Um, that's where Port San Luis is for a lot of fishermen, a lot of fisher boats, fishermen boats go out of there, right out of this area over here. Um, just a beautiful little town, very, well, it's a little beach town. It's got that vibe. Roof deck, jacuzzi up top, and you can see where it's at. So this is the main strip right here that goes downtown. Once you get to right about here, this is all kind of like where people walk. There's no road. So the roads go and they turn around, they curve around. So that's it. That was a long video. It's the longest video I've done to date, but I wanted to show you a bit of what you could expect from different areas here on the Central Coast. We went through a bunch of different price ranges. Again, there'll be a link in the description if you want to set up your own custom search. If you want to get sent only the ridiculous ones, like put like 5 million plus or whatever, you can do that. You won't get emails that often, but if you go to a more affordable price point, like let's say you're looking at the 500 to 700,000 or you know, seven to 800,000, you know, you will get updates as uh, they come on the market. You'll get houses as they come on the market, which will be fairly often. Could be every day, it could be uh, three days a week, it could be every other day, I don't know. So again, link will be down in the description. One more time, my name is Christian Thiessen. I'm with Hubble Real Estate. If you have any questions or you want to see any of these beautiful homes, or if you want to buy any of them or sell a home like this and get it featured on this wonderful search site, feel free to reach out. My number is 805-459-9834.